So many music stars are paying tribute to Tony Bennett tonight, including uh, two Grammy Award winning singers. Michael Buble will join us in just a moment. But right now we are pleased to welcome Harry Connick Jr. into the Situation Room. Uh, it's an embarrassment of riches for us here in the Situation Room. Uh, Harry, uh, great to see you. Um, how are you remembering this icon and your friend Tony Bennett? I mean, we were just looking through all those clips there. What an amazing life. Well, it's good to be with you, Jim. Thanks for having me. Um, I was so saddened to hear about it because I've, I've known Tony for years, probably since I was a teenager, I think, when he came through New Orleans was the first time I met him. And I just remember him, aside from, we could talk for hours about what an unbelievable musical talent he was. Yeah. But he was so nice to me, always so kind. His arms were always open, so encouraging. Um, and I just have a lot of, I'm not, I laugh when I think about it because he, he was the kind of guy I would love to have him come on stage and sing with me, but you also had to be careful because you knew who was going to get the most applause and it wasn't going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sure a lot of uh, singers felt that way, but how did Tony Bennett's unique impact on pop and jazz inspire you? Because it was such a unique and iconic voice. Yeah, his voice was one of a kind, it, you know, he, he just had this incredible ability to interpret lyrics and an unbelievable amount of power in his voice. When you couple that with his elegance, his humility and his incredible ability to, to, to bring an audience into uh, some of the great American songbook, it, 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 was, it was one of these once in a lifetime kind of kind of things there was nobody who really did it like him and i don't think there i could assure you there will never ever be anybody who does it like tony bennett yeah what was it like being in the room with him uh, were you starstruck yourself at first i'll tell you a quick story when i was in my mid-20s i was playing a concert there were a bunch of singers on the bill and the way the lineup was i was going out to sing and he was going to follow me which was a very good thing because you don't want to follow tony <laughs> no. bennett and I sang, I got out there with the microphone and I, I usually hold the mic pretty close to my mouth, but this time I saw him in the wings watching me and I held the mic about two feet away. And I was saying in my mind, I hope he's watching this. My, my sound is getting bigger. Tony Bennett's got a big sound, but I'm, I'm working on my sound. And so I sang the song, it was fine. I went off stage, I said, hi, Mr. Bennett. He says, oh, hi. He walks out. He says, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and, and takes the microphone and puts it down on the piano and sang the song without a microphone. And I'm like, I just wanted to I just wanted to crawl into a hole because, <laughs> you know, that's why you don't follow Tony Bennett. You can't. You're not you're it's not going to win. <laughs> kind of a mic drop moment there. Uh, well, Harry Connor Jr. Exactly. Uh, great to talk to you. We could go on all night. Uh, really appreciate you coming to the Situation Room. And my hat's off to you as well. What an amazing career you've had. And thanks for sharing those special memories. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jim. Good to be with you. All right, good to be with you. All right, now let's bring in another modern day crooner and Grammy award winning artist, Michael Buble. He is also with us. Uh, thanks for joining us, Michael. Great to see you. Uh, and you had the honor of collaborating with Tony Bennett on several duets. Uh, I have to ask you about that. What was it like to sing with such a giant in the industry? It is tough to to share a stage with him, I have to imagine. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, he's incredibly talented, but he was always warm and gracious. And, you know, as a, as a kid who had so much reverence for him and the, the heroes that, that come before me and the Great American Songbook, you can imagine how much it meant to have him take a kid like me under his wing. And uh, I love just every time I got a chance to, to be with him, to talk with him, to ask him questions, uh, and, and I remember the first time I was with him, I was very nervous. I've told this story too many times, but it bears repeating. I said, Mr. Bennett, I have stolen everything from you and Frank and <laughs> Dean and Bobby and Al. And he said to me, kid, he said, if you steal from one person, you're a thief. He said, but if you steal from everybody, it's research. Uh, and I, I've told that story so many times. And I continue to steal from those greats and from him. He's a, uh, what a class act. Absolutely, and, and that is an amazing story. And I, and I think about how um, he had such an amazing stage presence early on in his career, right up until the end, mm -hmm. and just had this powerful voice yeah. that was unmistakable. 
What, what was it about Tony Bennett that connected with you? Well, I loved it. Listen, the voice was unique. The, the God kissed that man's throat, and everybody knew it. The great ones knew it. Frank knew it. They all knew it. Uh, what I really find fascinating about it, though, is now that I got to spend 20 years watching and being and seeing this guy, I was always amazed by the fact. It's a great lesson to learn, by the way, in any business you're in. Know who you are. Be confident in who you are. And, and he was. And even though times change and tastes change and your audience goes and comes and uh, your, your popularity wanes, you just, if you're really confident and you really know who you are and you have that kind of integrity, they'll find you. And we always found Tony. As a matter of fact, to come in here today, uh, a girlfriend of mine was outside, just, she was a mess. And uh, she, I said, are you okay? She said, well, it's a, a, a really tough day. I love Tony Bennett. And she said, I, was sp I spent the whole morning listening to him. Mm. And she's 24, she's wow. 24 years old, she's a kid. And now, uh, and now we, we pay great respect. And those of us who are lucky enough, people like Harry Connick Jr. and myself and Lady Gaga and, and Diana Krall, Jamie Cullum, People that he he sort of opened up to and took under their wing. Now it's our wonderful responsibility to make sure in our small ways we keep the legacy of not only Tony, but I think the greatest gift America ever gave to the arts, the Great American Songbook. We keep it going yeah. in his name. And, uh, what an honor and a, a real privilege to be able to do that. And, you know, what a remarkable music career he had spanning more than 70 years. Uh, it, it, touching yeah. just about every generation of the last century, what sort of legacy does he leave behind, do you think? I think it's never ending, I truly do. I think he's truly an icon. I mean, um, he has changed the face of music and it, it's not just in the beautiful country of America or even North America, including Canada, it's, it is worldwide. And I'm, I mean, listen, I toured nearly 50 countries this year and there's not a place there's not a language spoken that doesn't love him and that won't love him forever. He'll become part of all our lives in, in wonderful moments when we get married or when we fall in love to, to difficult moments, you know, when we're saying goodbye to each other. He's, uh, he's just be become a part of culture. And, uh, and you can imagine it's a very strange day for so many of us. Um, you know, I, I called on Danny this morning and we, had, we talked and and I told Danny, how, listen, how remarkable it was for me as a, as a father of four kids to know that his kid loved him so much and understood the legacy and, and uh, was a part of that journey in keeping this incredible dude uh, more than relevant the way he did. It's, I mean, the, it is a fascinating tale. It truly is. It's a, a, the movie. Um, it just means a lot to me that I can come on here, Jim, and just sort of share what it meant for me uh, to have yeah. him in my life. And I mean, cha it changed my career, man. When, when a guy like that says to the world, hey, this is, you know, this, is a, this guy's okay. That really does, uh, it really does change things for you. I bet, and, I, and I, that's always gonna stay with you. Whether we've had uh, times of great sadness or great joy in our lives, it seems like he was part of that soundtrack. Uh, I think that's what's just going to be so special about him. Uh, we always leaned on Tony uh, in those moments in our lives. Michael, man, Blair, like he's, go, he said it, he said it best. He said, "I am the original American Idol," and he still is. <laughs> he really is, no question about it. Uh, Michael Bublé, honor to have you on. Thanks so much. We're all thrilled to have you with us, uh, Harry Connick uh, Jr. as well. Uh, you're both wonderful. Uh, thanks so much, and uh, what a tribute to Tony Bennett. I'm sure he'd be proud. All right, we'll be right back. Too hungry 